Hey guys, best of fly here, hope you're well. Out and about on a glorious winter's day again for another bit of vlogging. It's very cold actually, I'm gonna have to put the old visor down. Uh, hoping to keep the bike upright this time. Last time I did one of these, didn't turn out so well and uh, it's a lot more treacherous on the roads this time. So stick around, stay tuned. Let's see what this bit of luggage will bring. So I'm riding like a pansy today because uh, as you may be able to see, there's a little bit of snow on the field. So I came out specifically because it's such a beautiful day. I thought it'd be nice to try and get some uh, drone footage if I can of uh, the beautiful Chilterns here on a day like this when the sun's out and the sky's blue. But uh, it's a lot colder than it was the last time I came out and uh, the roads are extremely icy. I thought I'd stick to these main-ish roads in the hope that they'll be clear. It's clear here, look, the sun's at its peak today, which isn't much at this time of day. It's midday and that's as high as the sun gets, hoping that the uh, ice will be melted off the road. But where I want to go is a slightly more minor road, which is, could well be icy. So this could be a very treacherous ride. I'm sort of half expecting uh, calamity, but I'm going to be riding even more like a schoolgirl than I normally would because this bike, the CRF, has very thin, knobbly tyres. They're slippy on wet tarmac, let alone icy tarmac. So I'm just taking it really, really careful as I head out this way. The last time I came out for a bit of luggage didn't end up so well. I don't know if you saw that, I went out on Monday, it was another lovely day on my GS, I ended up dropping the bike. I'll stick a video uh, up here, link, if you didn't see that video. <laughs> Luckily no damage done and uh, I have cleaned the bike up now. So, uh, all is well on that front. Thank you for all your messages uh, after that video, of course. Lots of people uh, sent me very nice messages saying they were glad I was okay. I mean, it was a very slow drop. I literally sort of put the bike down, so no harm done. I'm glad to say, but thank you for all the messages. I was a bit overwhelmed. I do read them all, but uh, I struggled a bit to answer every one. So uh, if I didn't answer your message, I did several hundred, and I do apologize. Must try harder. Oh, look at this real Hansel and Gretel stuff with the snow out. I'm just so aware that there's still ice on the ground here. And uh, having ridden a motorcycle in snow and ice before, it's not a lot of fun, I have to say. So uh, let's be a bit careful. Let's uh, head up this way using mostly my back brake to get around this corner. This looks wet with the sun on it, so that's okay. Wow, it's great to be on the CRF again, especially on a day like this. This bike sounds so brilliant. It's all mouth and no trousers, this bike. It doesn't go very fast, only a 250, but it sounds brilliant, and it's such fun to ride. And it's got really good heated grips. Uh oh, this is looking icy. It's really hard to relax when you're riding on roads like this because uh, you do sort of tense up naturally. I'm looking for the wet parts of the road as opposed to these icy bits. I've got no ABS or anything like that on this bike. If something comes around that corner, we've got to be careful not to react too quickly. Head over to the side and just use the back brake if I can. I'm just sort of bracing myself for that. Actually, this looks wet here again. It's a bit like skiing when you're on roads like this. You've got to read the road ahead a little bit. Just check where your best line is. I, mean, I wouldn't recommend coming out in conditions like this unless you really have to, but uh, it's so rare that we get snow in this country uh, and, ha and have such lovely bright sunshine as well. I just thought I, I had to try the drone out and I've got a little idea of where I might be able to go. Not sure what it'll turn out like, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. And maybe try out some of the features of the drone that I haven't used before. Lots of people asked me on the last video what drone I've got. It's the Mavic Air that I have. Great little gadget. I bought it for my uh, trip to the Arctic Circle last year up through Norway. And uh, sadly I had a technical problem, couldn't use it at all. Couldn't diagnose the problem on the road and uh, I did try hard, obviously. <laughs> Turned out it was the lead that connects the phone in the controller to the controller itself that was faulty. So I'll just mention that in case you ever experience something similar. Always try swapping the leads. Well, it really is a gorgeous day. If it's like this all winter, then I'll be quite happy. I'm always moaning about the weather in Blighty, but there's something to be said for having separate seasons. And uh, actually, if the weather's like this, it's fine. It's not the weather that's the issue, it's the lack of light, really, that's the issue. It's still getting dark at uh, the half past four time, if you're lucky. 
Right, now down here, on the right, there's a little lane that I've been down a few times before, never in the wet and snow though. I don't think it's a private road, at least to a farm. I could get told to sling me hook, so to speak. It doesn't say private or anything, but we'll check it out. Oh, luckily the road's just looking wet here, look, so that's good. And these fields have got a nice little dusting of snow, so it should make for some good, good dronage. That's my plan. Whoa. Right, I think this is the little path just here. Let's have a look, see what this looks like. Yeah, that's not too bad. a quick recce down it. In fact this is completely clear, I expected this, I thought this was a mud track actually, it's actually been tarmacked, which is rather good. This might be an opportunity for me to try one of those drony shots where you track the bike along. So if you see one of those, then it worked alright. Beautiful. I'm not sure what there is actually to point the drone at, so I said I'll fly it, but uh, I might have to mix in some other shots in the area as well to give it a bit more interest. I think this is about as far as I can come up here because this is where the farm is. I don't want to annoy anyone. Oh, what a beautiful day. And that could be the angry farmer. <laughs> Fabulous. Look at this. Right. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's looking at me in an angry way. I'll turn the bike around and go back. Right, I think what I'll do is go to the end here, near the gate by the road there, so I'm not in his way. And then just uh, stick the drone up here for a bit, see what we get. Oh, so lovely to be out on the bike. Great to be on the little CRF again. What a fabulous machine. Right, you see some drone shots, it worked all right. Okay, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead because uh, it's not getting any warmer out here. Hopefully you got uh, a couple of shots there. And so I just thought it was well worth uh, trying to put the drone up given there is this little bit of snow around. We're due, according to the weather forecast, to have another big dump tonight. Uh, so tomorrow is probably the better day to come out and do photography, but I think they're forecasting so much. It's the type that you really aren't going to want to come out on your bike on. I'm, uh, hello, what's happened here? Let's let him. What is he doing? It's going to go through, fair enough. Thank you. Very kind.
kind of them. Right, I'm going to nip back then to the man cave. Obviously check out this footage and get a video up, but uh, before I do that, I'll just show you, if you saw my video I did earlier in the week, the one I shot on Monday where I came off my GS, lots of people asked what the damage was and whether I cleaned the bike up. Well, of course I'll clean the bike up. Let me take you to the man cave and I'll show you what I've done. So welcome back to the uh, Mr. Man Cave. I'll still show you the uh, GS, what I've done to that. Uh, dirt bike back safely, a little bit dirty, but that'll be another little job for another day. So the GS, uh, last time you saw it uh, was the film I did on Monday, posted I think on Wednesday, uh, and she had a load of grass all cut in. What I've done actually, uh, as you can see down here, given her a good clean, but uh, I've actually replaced this bash plate here, this Toratec plate, so it happened I had a spare one in my bits and pieces uh, crate uh, where I dropped it once before on the other side uh, and I'd end up having to buy a pair of these uh, and of course I had a spare one so absolutely fantastic stuck that on there and no damage done well some sort of cosmetic scratches here but uh, let's show me show you those but uh, I put those down to character can you just see those uh, nothing I can't live with so there we go bike uh, all back to how she should be all right I hope that uh, silly little vlog was of interest look forward to speaking to you again soon until then this has been Mist and Fly cheerio